Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Matthew. Basically, this is one of the series I started in my channel to uh, showcase how, how is this RF works in background using a Kahoot tool and the simulations in the background so that you will get a visual representation on uh, how things works on RF in the background. Everyone knows the theory and uh, nobody knows how it works in the background and because we, we can't see it uh, by our um, eyes, right? So what I thought is uh, let's have that uh, Akahu tools capabilities and talk about the uh, things in the background and understand the RF in the uh, in a different way uh, instead of just going through the readings or something like that. We already have uh, two parts. In part one, we talked about how the RF uh, is impacted uh, due to different wall types and multi-layer walls and all those things. And in part two, we discussed about how to find the right power level uh, on an AP uh, based on the client and all those things. So those are the two things uh, we done it in this series. As I said, this is the uh, third video. And here we are going to talk about how uh, we can find uh, the right mounting of the AP because uh, always you will not be able to use the uh, same mounting mechanism. And here we will uh, stick with internal antenna AP. Before we get into video, let's uh, let's talk about the setup here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I have a, a Kahu uh, project created with a floor plan. I have three access points that are in the uh, floor plan. Let's uh, get into each access point and find the uh, settings. So let me go and edit the radio. As you can see here, uh, this is a 3800i, uh, uh, the internal antenna version of uh, uh, AP. And uh, it's a, I just given that naming as ceiling mount. Then I have a BG radio disabled, like a B radio is off, uh, 2.4 gigahertz is off. I have 5 gigahertz radio enabled with 11 dBm. And you can also see that, okay, there is a mounting uh, option here. So this one is a ceiling mount and you can see that this particular AP name is reflecting that. So this is the first AP. Now let me uh, go into the second AP. And uh, as you can see here, uh, I just selected this name as floor mount and you can see the mounting is selected as floor. And same settings, uh, you are at 2.4 gigahertz is disabled because I'm not like thinking it in the different radio uh, methods and all because you have to just understand the principle in the background. It's not, uh, not relevant, the radio is not relevant. So I just want to concentrate on 5 gigahertz only in this video. And um, here uh, the band is again 5 gigahertz, uh, then uh, the power level is same. So uh, the APs are same, the power levels are same, same thing is uh, replicated here. Everything is same. So this is again uh, next AP, 2.4 is disabled, 5 gigahertz is enabled with power level 11, 11 dBm. Then only difference is uh, mounting model. So one is ceiling, one is wall mounting, another one is floor mounting. Then we have uh, wall mount uh, as a name. So you can understand the uh, naming convention. Um, you can understand the AP, which one is uh, wall mounted and which one is not. Okay, and uh, one more thing I forgot to show you last time. Uh, let me go and edit this antenna. As you can see here, your AP is located like this. Okay, when you say ceiling mounting, this AP is located on the ceiling. Then uh, when we talk about floor mounting, you can see that this AP is placed on bottom and it's pointing up. We, we will get into that more detail. Then uh, this, and you can see here, this AP is a uh, wall mounted. So this is the uh, main difference. Section. Okay, so uh, now I made some changes. I draw a wall, it's, uh, it's kind of a uh, concrete wall, 12 dB. I don't want anything going out because it's just a simulation of it. So you have uh, three APs. One is ceiling mount. Uh, from the AP name, you can figure it out. And I already shown the configuration. And this is wall mount and the antenna is pointing this direction. Uh, or the AP is mounted on that direction. Uh, this is a uh, floor mount and it's actually pointing from uh, bottom to uh, going up. So uh, this is how the setup is. Let's see how, uh, how the RF behaves in three different uh, mounting models. This is uh, Cisco 3802i and uh, all the APs are same. Only, thing, uh, only difference is the mounting model. Okay, so I'm going to select this AP. And you can see how this particular AP is covering the area. So I'm not worried about what is going up. So this is your uh, ceiling. 
this is mount around the ceiling and it's pointing down and this is how it will uh, serve the client so the same room your ap is mount around ceiling at the same time i'm going to select this ap this is from bottom so um, ceiling ap means you are having um, permanent ceiling it can be a concrete you are di directly mounting it on the concrete or any permanent ceiling or you are having a false ceiling that is extended from the permanent one and you have access points mounted on that in both the scenarios it will be uh, something like this uh, if you are sitting in the bottom then uh, you will be receiving the signal from top and line of sight and everything will be uh, clearly available for uh, this mounting but when we talk about uh, floor mounting this is the scenario you are going to place the access point under the table or something like that so you have some kind of emergency meeting or some kind of critical meetings and you are getting you are expecting more people and you have to add an extra ap uh, into that location to make sure everyone is getting the proper treatment in that case you have to add an ap into that location but you don't have a feasibility to do that cabling pulling a new cable and all those things so you will just leverage the existing cables available on your location so in that scenario you will be placing the ap under the uh, table or uh, some other location so if it's a stadium or something it will be under the seat if it's a meeting room or something it will be under the table sometimes it will be a tv unit but whatever condition it is uh, you are actually placing the ap down not on the ceiling so that's how uh, it will behave when you have the ap mounted on uh, floor there is no mounting like if you are placing the ap on the uh, floor okay so at the same time you have another option uh, that is uh, wall mounting so as you can see here this is the condition of wall mounting of the ap so in some places like you have double layers of um, uh, reception area that kind of sections you will not be able to find a location to keep the ap uh, on the ceiling or on the table or below the table Th those kind of scenarios are not possible on that kind of setup so if that's a scenario then you will end up in uh, uh, you will end up in uh, mounting this ap on the wall and the uh, wall will be sideways so for an example open to sky kind of uh, scenarios you have to mount the ap on the uh, wall side so this is um, this is not kind of a recommended one there's no point in putting a uh, 360 degree omnidirectional antenna on a wall and cut that into 180 degree because as you can see here this ap is going to serve this side but this side is gone so almost 180 degree of your ap is gone the capabilities are gone so um, so you you don't have to use this model because you can always go for an external uh, antenna ap and you can use the directional one based on the requirement but uh, some of the times we will end up in this condition we'll end up in mounting the ap on the uh, wall mount so in wall mount the behavior of the ap of the rf will change so i hope this explains because you have the same size of uh, room all the uh, scale is same i just replicated that walls and all and same ap based on the ap mounting that changes the behavior how it serves the client just uh, understand this behavior change uh, when you are doing ap mounting um, in ceiling or uh, wall mount or floor mount okay so i hope uh, this one will uh, help you uh, in identifying how to do this uh, mounting of the ap okay so this is uh, one of the criteria you have to keep it in mind and next one is uh, uh, what is the ceiling like if you have a ceiling mount and uh, how this one is uh, this coverage is going to impact on a floor when you have a ceiling mounting ap and your height is increased in the background so this is the floor plan i created for explaining the uh, signal strength and how this one is going to impact your signal strength uh, based on the ceiling height so um, the standard ceiling height, uh, you can say um, 10 feet or something. Um, in, in case of Ekahu, it's actually setting 7.9 feet as a, um, as a standard ceiling height. So it can be your uh, permanent ceiling. It can be a false ceiling or uh, uh, temporary ceiling in between. Or uh, you will have some kind of decorations or some interior work happen and you have to place the AP below that. So that's how um, the ceiling height changes in uh, each location so 
uh, in this scenario, we are talking about um, APs with the different different uh, ceiling mounting height. Before going into the simulation, let's uh, talk about the setup. Uh, as you can see, all the APs are ceiling mounted and all APs are functioning with 5 gigahertz only with 11 dBm. I also mark the uh, uh, height, the uh, mounting height on uh, each AP name. You can you can see that in this one. And uh, this is uh, this is basically this is the setup. Okay, so now uh, let's go and see how uh, the ceiling height is actually impacting the signal strength in the bottom. Okay, um, so I'm going to enable uh, signal strength view. Then I'm going to have only selected APs here and only 5G guards. So let's get into the simulation. So I'm going to enable the uh, first simulation for the first AP. And you can see here uh, this first AP is 7.9 feet, then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you can uh, figure it out from the name itself. So I'm going to enable 7.9 feet AP. Uh, I'm going to get a coverage like this. Now I'm going to enable AP with uh, 10 feet, almost signal, uh, almost similar signal strength because the difference between these two is like very minimal. I'm going to enable the third guy, and this is like 15 feet, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one. Okay, so now you can see the signal strength here. And you also uh, understand that there is no much difference on minus 67 because it's kind of, I, I put the boundary as 67 and you can see that almost all the APs are covering in the same manner when uh, when we have the, uh, the boundary as 67. But uh, there is a big difference happening in the backgrounds to identify that, let me change this one into 65. When I change to 65, you can see most of them are uh, actually behaving in the similar way. I change into 60 and you can see that there is a difference uh, between uh, each AP, right? So it's uh, actually changed the pattern. So as you can see here, there is a pattern difference here and here. And I'm going to uh, reduce further into 55. And you can see the big difference here, right? It's not serving the clients in the same manner. If you, if you want a really good performance on wireless, uh, mounting AP with uh, higher ceiling height is not that recommended because this is how the pattern is going to change in the background. In case of uh, AP in uh, 30 feet will not serve the client in the same manner the AP is situated in 7.9 feet. So there is a big difference on uh, this chunk. Okay, so um, you you have to keep that in mind. It's not recommended to keep all the APs on uh, really high ceiling and uh, impact all the clients because you know the airtime is going to be impacted with this one because you are not getting the right uh, signal strength, the capabilities will change, the negotiations will change, and uh, it will have impact on your RF. Overall RF will have uh, impact on that. So, so this is how uh, the uh, ceiling height of the AP impacts your network on the RF side, RF point of view. I hope this simulation helped you to understand the difference, what is going to happen when you increase the ceiling height of the AP, the uh, mounting height of the AP, and how it impacts on the RF. I hope this one will help you in uh, in future uh, deployments or uh, RF design in your network. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.